What's up YouTube, what's going on? Back here with another video today. And in today's new video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting a new series of videos actually. And this series of videos is gonna revolve around resources that I have specifically read or have at least found educational for myself as a coach and just someone who is very passionate about learning about health and fitness and recovery. And I'm gonna be sharing these resources with you for any of you guys that wanna go check out these resources or at least that I've found very helpful for myself that can maybe help you guys out as well and you guys can go check them out. And I've kind of already started this, but I haven't really made it an official series. And if you guys look to my previous videos where I've talked about McGill's books or more recently, I just talked about the book Iced in a previous video. And so I'm gonna make this an official series and it's gonna be called Recommended Resources. And I'm just gonna recommend a resource or at least talk about it, share my opinions and thoughts about this resource and then share with you guys so maybe you guys can go check it out and hopefully if you guys do you find it helpful so with today's recommended resources we will start this off with a book that i just recently finished yesterday and this book is speed trap by charlie francis so for those of you guys that don't know who charlie francis is he is a former track and field coach for the canadian Olympic team and for the Canadian sprinters specifically. So he was a former elite level sprinter who ended up coaching many elite level Canadian sprinters, most notably Ben Johnson. So for those of you guys that don't know who Ben Johnson is, he is the individual that won the gold medal at the 1988 uh, Summer Olympic Games in which a week later he was reincended for uh, taking steroids. So he won the gold medal, but they reincended his gold medal because he was taking steroids. So then the whole controversy blew up with performance enhancement drugs and he was the first notable big athlete to really take the fall for taking performance enhancement drugs. Now this book though has a lot of very educational material in it in my opinion. I had never heard of Charlie Francis before. I had recently heard other coaches really talk highly of him and I never knew who he was and then I'd finally just stumbled upon some of his stuff I decided to check his book out because I kept hearing good things and decided to read it. And it was a very good read. It was a very phenomenal read in my opinion. And what I'll say is Charlie was light years ahead of many other coaches during his coaching time. And so Charlie was primarily working in the 70s and 80s. And then when the whole thing blew up with the steroids and Ben Johnson, and then he was, he was pretty much out of a job after that. But he was a phenomenal coach and some of his methods were very interesting. And what I found interesting about this book is that there wasn't one reference to research. And a lot of the philosophy that Charlie developed was based off his time being an elite sprinter with his coaches from what he learned from his coaches, but also then working and discussing things with other coaches from East Germany, West Germany, from Russia, from the US. They all shared different philosophies in terms of training. And some of the philosophies were very interesting, specifically those from Germany and Russia. And, and it was really interesting to see the extent that some of these coaches would go through with their athletes. And it all shows that a lot of what was done back in the 60s, and the 50s, 70s, 40s, with a lot of it was based off trial and error for a lot of these athletes. Now, with regards to Speed Trap though, overall though, it's a very educational resource for any coach out there that is working with athletes. Now it is primarily speed based and based for a sprinter or sprint training. But like I said, guys, there is a lot still out there for any coach out there working with any athlete that they could learn a lot from in terms of how they should manage their athletes, treat their athletes and just overall work with them. And some of the training material that Charlie used was very fascinating and it has set the foundation for some coaches today that kind of use Charlie's concepts. So overall though, it's a great resource in my opinion for any kind of coach out there. And also I'll say that anyone that has an interest in steroids and performance enhancement drugs, there's a lot of stories in there that Charlie tells about lots of athletes using drugs prior to the, ni prior to the 1988 games and talks about how it was almost routinely normal for these athletes to use drugs. And then the whole scandal happened with Ben Johnson and then that's when things kind of blew up with the whole performance enhancement drug. So anyone that has an interest in that as well, I recommend this book. Now, I purchased this book off Amazon. I purchased the Kindle version for 10 bucks, which I thought was a steal. And for 10 bucks, I read the whole book just on the Kindle. 
instead of paying 60 to about 120 bucks for the text version, um, I thought 10 bucks was just a steal. Now, I prefer to read books in text version, but I mean, for 10 bucks, eh, you can't really go wrong with that. And my opinion for any coaches out there, like I said, great resource if you're someone that works with athletes or just looking to learn about speed training or the whole kind of story behind performance enhancement drugs and, and steroids and how that all blew up. And so that's it for this recommended resources, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If maybe if you read Speed Trap, if you read the book, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions about that. Maybe if you know Charlie Francis as the coach or if you're familiar with this material, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about him. Um, and that being said, guys, that's it for this video. And that's it for today's recommended resources. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, all the best.